Hi, this is Joey from ESC Plus, and I'm here with Julie and Nina at Don's Melody Grand Prix. Um, talk a little bit about your song, League of Light. Um, I think it's important to know when listening to the song where the both of you reside. Yes. Uh, well, um, I, I, I think uh, <laughs> what you want us to say now is that uh, the song also includes uh, Green. the, the Greenlandic Green. language. Yeah. yeah. We're and both Greenland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll come to that with the meaning of the song. <laughs> but it has the language in it, because uh, we're both from Greenland, Nina lives there, and I live here in Denmark. Right, and isn't there a message in the song, though, about being from two different places and having a bit of dichotomy? Absolutely. It is about a duality, also because that we're two, and we're best of friends, and have been for many years. Um, and we're mixed children. We're half Danish, half Greenlandic. We kind of, we kind of belong to both places, and we live in that uh, reality. And uh, this song would love to bring some light and some love uh, to this. Have you thought about how that message or the song would translate on the stage in Tel Aviv? Yes, of course we have, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because we think that it would be so very, very nice if our history, Denmark and, and Greenland and the Faroe Islands history could could join the world, could uh, could um, catch some light mm -hmm. over our history, so uh, people would know more about uh, where we come from it, and that Greenland isn't a city in Denmark, but it's a whole country, a very, very big white island uh, that has a, a, what do you call it, um, fellescape. Um, right. But I see my fellow skate playing yeah. community with uh, unity. with a unity community unity with Denmark mm -hmm. and has uh, and have had that for many many years. I also believe that there are many countries in Europe and the ESC that has this. I belong to two places. Right. This yes. country used to be one, now it's two, or the other way around. And the 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 problems that can be in this because we're so different. Even though that we belong to Denmark, in, in Greenland, it's two very different cultures and two very different uh, stories and very different people and language. But still we belong together. And we need to know more about each other because the truth is that we don't. And we would love to, yeah, bring that more up front. Yeah, it's a, it's a very international message and I think it will resonate a lot and it already has with your international viewers. Um, Having said that, there's a video for the song that's that's making the rounds that was released in in conjunction with Don's Melody Grand Prix. Um, one of um, our readers was curious about the dogs in in those in the video. Um, were they not available to come to Melody Grand Prix, or are they here somewhere else? <laughs> the sled dogs, right? They no, they stay in Greenland, and they are only in Greenland. So yeah. um, we could we couldn't bring them if we, even if we wanted to. So <laughs> when you think about Tel Aviv, you're not considering the, the sled dogs. To no. no, no. But uh, I oh mean, well. yeah. But well, <laughs> we're gonna bring a, a lot of other stuff. I right. hope. Yeah. If we if we get that far, we would <laughs> love to show you more. Yes. Definitely from Greenland. Yeah, I, I know a lot of people are responding to the Greenlandic language being presented. Yeah. Uh, so I know the message will 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 get out there and will do great. Um, just wanted to also know, maybe you wanted to share with our viewers um, uh, what happened today when you tried to take food when you didn't have any uh, shoes on? <laughs> no, I was, I was lurking myself in here in yeah. the press yeah. room because yeah. I wanted a cup of coffee. <laughs> and I, exactly. And I was just, you know, uh, being as silent as I could and took the coffee and you came over and you were like, it's a health care violation <laughs> if you're in here near the food with your feet bare. Oh, uh, that was, I thought that was a government official. I didn't realize. <laughs> well, now I know it was you. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know that before. And I was like, you totally killed me. I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. This is so embarrassing. I'm, I, was, I was running out the room right with my car. Well, I'm glad we can laugh about it now. <laughs> Well, she told me the story. <laughs> oh, yeah, it it was, was so <laughs> funny. <laughs> it was hilarious. Well, best of luck tomorrow night. I am looking forward to the show very much. And say hello to the dogs from... Oh, <laughs> we will. We will.